In this video tutorial, I show you how you can record the core trigger and arpeggiator output or any MIDI FX plugin output to a different channel so you can actually see the result in form of a score. Here's an example. So it sounds like this. Okay, so without the MIDI plugin, it sounds like this. Now, what we want to do is record this so we actually see what the MIDI plugins create. I'm going to delete all that and show you how you get there. So, this is the track that has the chord trigger and arpeggiator on it. These are the MIDI FX plugins. And then it has an instance of the sampler plugin. That's what makes it possible for us to hear the piano. Now, the first thing I want to do is duplicate this track. And I'm going to call it score MIDI target. And here's why I call it MIDI target. We want to record the MIDI output of the chord trigger and arpeggiator onto this track. To do so, we actually need to create a virtual cable that connects these two. For that, we use something called Utility External Instrument. And you can pick mono because this is not an audio recording, so it doesn't matter. When you open this, you will see MIDI destination. It wants to know where should this MIDI information go to? What cable are you using? So if I click on it, it says IAC driver bus 1. This is the virtual MIDI driver that comes with your Max OS. Usually you use it to connect a synth. So you can basically route the signal to your MIDI output device and then connect your external instrument. But in this case, you just want to bring it back into Logic so we can record it on a separate track. So here's what you got to do. Open Spotlight and then do a search for MIDI, M-I-D-I, and pick Audio MIDI Setup. Now, it could be that you don't see this window, depending on your settings. Maybe it looks more like this. Then you have to go up there to the Audio MIDI Setup window menu and say Show MIDI Studio. And this is the driver. And if you didn't see this driver in Logic, you will have to make sure it's active. And so you double click and see I have this checked here. It says device is online. So if it isn't checked, if it looks like this, then your driver is grayed out. Turn it on. It has now created MIDI Buzz 1. And that's all you need. And this driver now shows up here. If you click on it, it says IAZ Driver Bus 1. And this is this virtual cable that allows you to connect the output of this channel with whatever channel you want to record your MIDI onto. So, important is that you turn off the chord trigger and arpeggiator here on the target track. Super important. Turn record on. So now, when we go into record mode, we should see the output. We actually see now the MIDI that the chord trigger and arpeggiator produces. See, that's what we saw before and we only heard the effect, but now we can actually see the effect. And the beauty of this is now you can go in and change notes and anything else you would do with a regular MIDI recording. It's such an amazing feature for the contemporary music producer, because now you have control over the randomness of what your MIDI plugins give you.